Hey guys, Crewman here, and this is a video series I never thought I'd have to do again. This is how to install the RTX 5080. This guide is going to go over everything you need to know from unboxing this thing, to getting it on your computer, to what power supply I would recommend. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so, the RTX 5080, it is a massive GPU. It's got a TDP of about 300 watts, and you need to use... The 12 volt high power cable now before you install the graphics card you need to look at your power supply i can't believe i'm saying this but here we are my recommended power supply of choice is the be quiet dark power pro 13 these come in 1300 and 1600 watt models now they are not cheap but when you're spending as much as you are on the 5080 they're worth it all right you don't want to mess anything up by getting a cheap power supply i would highly recommend unless you have a brand new power supply that you go get one frankly because you don't want to take any chances unless you have one that's been that's newer and you've used it on a past 40 series card for example this is the one i used on my 40 series the hx 850. let me show you on the be quiet two reasons i like it the first is it has an overclocking feature which allows you to get a little bit more fps out of these things uh, so it gets you even closer to 4090. And the second is the quality of their cables. The first thing you're going to want to do with the cables is you're going to want to check the pin layout of the 12 volt high power cable. You see right in here, none of the pins inside the cable are pushed in. So that will allow you to have a solid connection. Once you check your power supply, you're just going to want to check the pin layout, make sure there's no issues. That's just standard, it's something you should do. When you put this in, you're going to want to make sure you put this in vertically, as in your PC is on its side. We're using a test bench just to demonstrate it. You're going to want to put it in, and you're going to need a bracket with these things. You're going to need, these things are heavy, and you're definitely going to 100% need a bracket. So you just pretend these are screws, and you're going to want to screw them in. Now, like I said, this is an open bench table test bench, so it's a little different, but you get the idea. So I'm screwing in the GPU, and you want to do this before you plug the GPU into the cable. Okay, we have the cable. Depending on how close this cable is, you're going to want to pre-bend your cable. You're going to want to hold it with two hands. You're going to want to gently put it in, slide it in. When you get this close, you're going to want to make sure you push it in and you hear click. See that? I heard a big click. If you don't hear the click, it's not fully seated. And then you're going to want to make sure there's no gaps in between the cable and the GPU. And then another thing you might want to do is pre-bend the cable. Most newer cables, you don't really need to do that. But now, if for whatever reason you're using an older power supply, like this Corsair HX850, that is the very lowest I would recommend, and I would not overclock it using a power using this power supply. And it does not have the 12 volt high power cable. You're going to need to use the adapter that came with the GPU on your six pin to eight pin cable. You may have some that are daisy chained, aka have two eight pins on them. You absolutely cannot connect two of these into the adapter. This has to be three separate eight pins. Okay, see the daisy chain, you cannot connect them. You need three separate ones. I'm just using two because this is what I have available right now. Three separate ones, okay? And this is if you're using an older power supply. Again, I highly recommend buying a new power supply if you're gonna use a 5080 or a 5090. And I highly recommend you use the 12 volt high power cable, all right? And you can see this one is good too. This one is one I would use as well. I would try to avoid the adapter if at all costs, but if you have to use the adapter, you cannot use, you can not use one six pin to two eight pins. That is a no-no. That is a recipe to burn your GPU. There you have it, it is safely installed. Now one thing I do want to mention, if you plan on overclocking this thing, Assume it's a 4090 for all intents and purposes, which means you're going to need basically a 1,000 watt power supply if you plan on overclocking it. I have tested it with an Elmore's Lab PMD, and you will easily pull between 300 to 375 watts from this cable and an additional 75 from the motherboard, which is the max. If people are going to go, Crew Man, I think I could do it with less. You do you, 
But this is a guide for people who don't know what they're doing, and that is my recommendation. So thank you guys for watching. If this video helped, please consider subbing to the channel. We have a lot of great tech content, and no matter what time of year you're watching this, or how much later after this video is filmed, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to answer your questions, and we do a lot of great stuff at this channel. So please like and subscribe. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Remember, double check your cable, get a good power supply like the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro. I'll have a link down below, and be vigilant, guys. This is not the simplest GPU install ever, <laughs> and always do it vertically. That's it for this one. Peace out, guys.